Hi folks, Dave, the Honest Audio File. Do Cardis Audio headphone cables make a difference? These are my Honest Audio File impressions. A disclaimer, I am not a professional sound engineer. I'm not a professional producer. I'm not a musician, a vocalist, an electrician, or an electrical engineer. I have not done any scientific research. I haven't done any measurements. I haven't done any in-depth testing of any kind. Just my own listening, comparing, and internet research and readings. I've limited real-life experience with recording, mixing, and mastering gear, and I have been involved since my teenage years with various churches as an amateur uh, sound booth technician. All tests that were done for this video were done with two headphones, the Odyssey LCD2 Closed and the Odyssey LCD5. They were also done with the MyTech Liberty DAC2 and the MyTech THX AAA HPA. Did use other DACs and amps, but for the most part, about 90% of the testing were done on the MyTechs. They were done with the Odyssey headphones because the cables that we are talking about are with the four pin mini XLR connection for headphones. And those are the only headphones that I have in house that use that connection. All tests were done with both streaming and local files. About 75 to 80% of the listening was done with local downloaded music. So cables. Do they make a difference? Very controversial topic. Lots of opinions and, and a, lots of information that are out there. A lot of beliefs that it's snake oil. A lot of beliefs that say cables don't make a difference at all. A lot of opinions that say the type of material used, whether copper, silver, gold, or a mixture of them can make some differences. Uh, the common belief is that silver tends to be a little bit more sparkly and a little bit more energetic and a little bit more detail oriented. Copper tends to be slightly warmer, a little bit more natural and not quite as sparkly and energetic. And some of the hybrids will kind of intermix various things you know, in between and alter the sound. Um, some believe determinations make the differences. Some believe that there's differences on what type of thickness it is and what type of cable it itself is, what the manufacturer of the cable is, whether or not it has different crystals or gold or, you know, any type of specs in it and you know, all kinds of stuff. There's all kinds of information out there regarding cables. And there's very minute uh, objective proof that cables make a difference. But yet there's a lot of subjective opinion that says you can hear a difference. And this isn't only with IEMs and headphones, but also speakers and components. And so through the years of my reviewing and just being a listener overall, using components at church, using components at home, varying price tags and all kinds of other things that go into it. For the most part, I've always said cables don't really make a difference. The main reason to change out a stock cable for a third party cable is for the build, the feel, the length, maybe the connection, or you just want a different cable. Very rarely have I come across an experience where cables truly make a difference. I've documented it in a few things and every now and then something has surprised me, but for the most part, I haven't been much of a believer in cables making a difference. And that doesn't matter whether or not I'm using an IEM, headphones, speakers, DACs, amps, interconnects between those, whether or not I'm using them to connect speakers at church or the, the DAC or the soundboard or whatever we're using. I, I haven't really heard much of a difference except for very few occasions. Recently, 
I was sent a gift from Fog City Audio, and they provided me with a cable for my Odyssey LCD-5, and it looks like this. And this is made with Cardus Audio wire, and I've never heard a Cardus Audio cable before. If I did, I didn't know it. Maybe at an audio show or something. And so I went and did a little research on the Fog City Audio website, found out that these start at $265. I was like, wow, that's a very nice gift. Thank you very much. And so Patrick, if you're watching this video, thank you very much for sending this. Much appreciate. I really appreciate the gift. It is much appreciate. I love the color. We'll get into everything else in a moment. So that is the cable that's going to be the focal point of this video is the Fog City Audio Cardis Audize LCD cable. And I'm going to show you the other cables that we compared it to, and then we will discuss the differences that I heard and the various other things like build and the feel and all that kind of stuff. So the cable set I have on hand, I have the standard Odyssey stock cable with a quarter inch adapter. I have the cable that came with the LCD-5, and that's the Odyssey Premium cable, also with a quarter inch. I have an Oppos Audio Flow cable. This has ring connectors and a 4.4 balance connection. I have a Fog City cable made with Mogami wires. his alternate black adapter. I don't know who makes these connections and then 4.4 and then the mentioned Cardis cable. Now real quick, let's talk about the build and the differences. So the odd is a stock cable. It's a nice cable. This is not a bad cable. It comes in around $150 if you were going to buy a replacement cable and it has nice connections. Marked red and black, and it uh, feels good. Terminates into a quarter inch. A little hefty of a termination, but not bad. It does have a little bit of a tacky, rubbery feel. But other than that, feels good. I, I don't mind the build of it. The Odyssey Premium Cable. Now, this is definitely a step up. You can, it's thicker. It also is a lot more um, pliable as far as it doesn't tangle as much as the stock cable does and it just feels more premium and it looks nicer and it doesn't have that kind of tacky feel that the the stock one has still terminates with the red and black coloring and it has ring connection it just feels better looks nicer overall it's just a better cable overall but it retails for six hundred dollars then we have the Oppos cable. Now this is a fabric feel and it's not a bad cable. Overall, it feels nice and light, connects with Reen interconnect or connections, and then it has the 4.4, but it just kind of is bland. You can get it in red and black. It's not a bad cable, but it's not really super impressive for its build. Um, it's just kind of an okay cable and that one starts at $150 that one I was able to find that it uses the pure single crystal copper cables I wasn't able to determine what the Odyssey's have in their cables it doesn't specify any particular type of cable being used and then the Fog City Mogami cable now, this is a lot lighter than the Oppos cable, and it just feels more premium. Um, it doesn't feel as flimsy. It just has a, a, a better 
feel to it overall. Uh, it looks nice. Of course, it's purple. You can get it all kinds of colors. You can get it to three uh, braid and all kinds of things. You can also change out your splits and all kinds of stuff. Patrick over at Fog City does all sorts of customization for his cables. And I like the Mogami cable. It just feels a little bit better for the than the Oppos cable. And this one will start you out at a hundred at excuse me at one hundred and fifteen dollars. So this is a little bit cheaper. And that uses Mogami oxygen free copper and then you have the cardus cable and i like that it's nicely woven with paracord and it just feels nice and it, it just feels more quality than the oppo cable it doesn't feel quite as flimsy has a very nice connection here. We're at the point. It's going to be very durable. It doesn't bend. It's not going to come loose at any time. You also have ring connectors. He puts the coloring up here on the connection itself instead of down below, which is a nice touch. This one terminates into an XLR. It just feels more premium. It actually feels a little heftier and a little more durable than the Mogami one. Now, granted, this is only one color, not two, like the other one is but they both feel very nice this one starts out at 265 dollars and it uses pure copper litz cardis cable so with all that out of the way okay aesthetics great if i were to rank these by the look of them i like this one the color of it is just really cool and then I like the purple one. Purple one's cool also, but carefully in between there would be the premium cable from Audize. It's just really cool with the copper and the black. I just love the look of it. You can also get it in a white and black color also, but this one, these are my top two. The Oppos one and the stock one, they're kind of on the bottom tier as far as looks not really anything impressive but they do what they're supposed to do which is make your headphones produce sound so speaking of sound did i notice a difference now using the stock cable of the odyssey LCD 5 and on the LCD 2 closed sound very good. I had no issues. I would have been very content with that sound. And I was like, I like this. It has it just the way I described it in the videos. And um, cool. And then I went to the premium cable. And using the premium cable on the LCD 2 closed didn't really show a whole lot. There may have been a slight difference, but it was extremely hard to pull out. LCD-5, I heard a difference. It was not some massive, oh wow, this is a totally different experience type of sound. But there was a slight difference. There was a little bit more of a, a, a depth to the sound. It had a little bit more girth on the bottom end. And it was a little bit more natural sounding in the mids. And then the treble in the air section seemed to kind of open up a little bit. So the treble was a little more extended. And then the air throughout seemed to be just a little bit more space and a little bit better depth. And overall, the presentation just seemed to be a little bit different. Not amazingly completely different like i completely changed everything and was using a different headphone none of that type of stuff it was just a very small difference that came out randomly it was not every single track and it was just every few times different types of tracks will kind of come out you well, wow sounds a little different going to the balanced cables the Oppos flow cable sounded 
basically like the stock cable. Not really much of a difference. The only difference was I had to turn the volume down a little bit. The Mogami cable. The Mogami cable did sound a little different from the Oppos cable and from the stock cables. The Mogami cable was a little bit closer to the premium cable from Audize. Not quite as airy, but it had a little bit different approach to the depth. But it also sounded a little bit more warm. And I was kind of surprised at that. I was kind of taken back just a little bit. And that was noticeable on pretty much every track. And then the Cardus cable. And I put the Cardus cable on. And it's a different sound noticeable on all tracks and I did hundreds I mean hundreds of listens to all the various different cables swapping them and listening to the same song over and over and over again to make sure that I was hearing it properly and every single time the Cardus cable had more air had more space and there was better depth and it even outshined the Odyssey premium cable while at the same time keeping the body and the note weight and the overall balance of the LCD-5. It just enhanced the whole presentation. Not in like force feeding it and throwing it at me, but more of just bringing it into focus more and refining it and defining it just a little bit better. And it was noticeable every track, every single time I would swap cables and I would compare it to the different ones. It did not matter. It did not matter to the track. It did not matter anything. The car with this cable definitely made a difference. That was noticeable. Call me crazy. Sneer at me if you want. Jeer me if you want. Say, I'm believing in snake oil. Do all that kind of stuff if you want. But until you hear it, you won't believe it. And I was the same way. And there have been moments, as I said earlier, on various other gear, that every now and then you have that experience. And the LCD-5 and the Cardus cable, I heard the difference. On the LCD-2 closed, not so much. It was very sporadic. But on the LCD-5 and the Cardus cable. Now, what can change that? There are several different things. Impedance. You can match impedance with a cable and with a headphone and with amps, and they have synergy. And that could be happening with this Cardus cable and the Odyssey LCD-5. And it's just kind of coming together. Some other things that can change is that it's just a better cable. The Cardus wire, the processes that they use for it, and the build that Patrick did over at Fog City, putting together this cable, it all just is a superior cable to everything else, so it just sounds better. Whatever the reasoning being is, I heard it. You might not believe in it, or you may. But there's one thing. My ears are the final judge, and you have different ears than me. You can't hear what my ears hear and process the way my brain processes it. So, I'm the only one that hears it this way. So, you can either take my word that this cable makes a subtle difference, or you can just say, Dave's a wackadoo. He's crazy. And cables don't make a difference. Try it. I was really surprised. Starting at $265, a Fog City Audio Cardis cable. 
sounds better than the Odyssey Premium $600 cable. Not by a whole lot, but a little bit. I was kind of surprised. And it sounds better than the others. And there is a significant difference between the Mogami cable and the Cardis cable. So, did I hear a difference? Yep, I sure did. Do I believe in cables making a difference every single time? Absolutely not. I think a cable can help make a difference. And I do think that a cable can enhance the experience, whether it be through the build, through the looks, or the sound. But I don't think that it's the magic pill to I totally change every single headphone or every single IEM or every single speaker or every single um, DAC and amp. I think it just kind of comes down to the synergy of each little piece in the puzzle. And in order to find out if a cable makes a difference, you just have to try. Change them out. See if you hear a difference. This time I did. Probably next time I won't. It's been Dave, The Honest Audio File. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Speaking of the next video, somewhere on screen, subscription links and notification bells. If you haven't already, please check those off. Don't forget to give a thumbs up or a thumbs down to the video and check out all the links down below. There's all kinds of information down there regarding how you contact channel, follow channel, support channel, all that kind of stuff is listed down below. Speaking of supporting the channel, there's all kinds of ways you can do it through one-time gifts, through PayPal and Venmo, or through monthly subscriptions through Patreon and YouTube memberships. So check out the links down below. And lastly, don't forget to enjoy the music and that honesty is the best policy.